Hi, I'm Ross Purnell with Fly Fisherman Magazine. Next up on the iCast new fishing gear guide, we've got Red Culper of G. Loomis, and he's going to tell us about the new NRX Plus S fly rods, which is kind of a big development coming from G. Loomis this year. Red, how you doing? Doing really good. Happy to be here. And I've been hearing rumors of this uh, new fly rod you've got coming out, and now it, you're finally unveiling it. Yeah, we're pretty excited. A couple years in the making for sure. So this is a, a, a an addition to the current series of NRX Plus rods that you came out with last year. Tell us about the, the S series. What does it stand for and what's special about it? For sure. So, um, you know, I'll just get started by saying, and I've definitely fallen into this trap working for rod companies before, we tend to fall into talking about actions as how they cast. So it's like, hey, how does that new rod from Scott or from Loomis cast? Well, we kind of pivoted that concept and we're like, well, what about how the rod fishes? Isn't that more important? I mean, if you're in a field and you're casting behind your fly shop and it feels pretty good, that's great. But then you get out on the water and you experience some difficulties. Uh, it can really impact your, your success if you have something that's good at casting 80 feet that you feel comfortable with, but you can only see fish within 20. The way that this rod was designed and truly what makes it special, it's called micro taper design. Micro taper design are little tapers within the overall taper of the blank. So instead of having a rod that flexes a very predictable path, you have these micro tapers that engage certain parts of the rod depending on how much line you have out of the tip top. So it casts really short, very well, you can feel it, but when it's time to open it up and get that distance, the line load engages further down the blank so it still gives you that feeling, the sensation of load, but you have all the power in reserve. What else is special about the NRX Plus S in terms of like components and stuff? How is it different than the, the freshwater rods? So um, the freshwater rods and the saltwater rods share the same graphite matrix and resin system. It's our new nano alloy resin system, which is certainly much lighter than resin systems that we've used in the past, somewhere around 15 to 20 percent. But what makes the S models different really is an advanced guide train system, your uh, titanium stripper guides and recoil running guides. So protection when you're sliding the rod in and out of an over, you know, rooftop rod carrier on your car or in a gunnel system in a skiff. And plus it's the new resin system is very um, impact resistant compared to resin systems in the past. So if you happen to hit it with you know, a uh, strong arm crab, the lead eyes in the blank, and it bruises that graphite, it's must, much less prone to spread from that initial impact point. It doesn't crack, continue cracking like your windshield. You got it. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing the news with us. Yeah, of I course. get it out on the flats or the, the blue water. My next blue water trip I've got coming up is uh, with Eric and Mo, so we can test it on some tuna. That's great. Well, there will be a 12, 12 weight heading your way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you know how that goes. Cool. Sounds great. Thanks a lot, Red. All right. Thank you for your time.